1 Thessalonians 3, 7 through 8 says, Sorry, everyone. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering. Dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith, it gives us new life to know that you are standing firm in the Lord. And today, I'm just grateful for, for my family and my friends and my kids and, you know, just, just the opportunity to be here. You know, thank God for getting us through uh, another week. And just, just, I'm just grateful for everything this morning as always. So the, this morning, this particular verse, um, as we know, was read from the Apostle Paul. And um, it was read to the Thessalonians um, as a reminder. And it was a good reminder too about to me for me about standing firm which he says you know um he reminds us to know that through everything that we go through that we must stand firm in the lord and you know as you know like I, when i read this particular verse you know i visualized like what he was trying to say like in the terms of standing firm. Because, you know, in our Caribbean culture, we, we kind of use that phrase a lot, you know, like when we, when we speak to a friend or someone and they say, hey, how's it going, man, everything good? You know, you'd be like, yeah, everything good. I already are standing firm. You know, I already are holding firm, you know? And basically what you when you say that to someone, that means that like you go going through things, but you hold in firm to your beliefs, so you hold in firm to your faith. When you say you hold in firm, it means that you hold in on to something, you know? And what I think the Apostle Paul was reminding us is that, you know, we hold firm into the Lord, like we stand firm with God, like no matter what come rushing our way, no matter no matter what adversity is we face, face, holding on to God is what can get us through it. So this verse was just a good reminder that you know, no matter what it is we're going through, just hold firm in God. Just hold firm onto Him and hold firm onto His Word, and everything could be a okay. So, thank you everyone for the opportunity to speak. I'm Carrie, and I will relinquish my mic back to Dara. Thanks.